Welcome to Linux tutorial. In this video, we will see how to install WordPress and then how to host WordPress website by using CentOS Subpanel on CentOS 7 machine. For the setup, you must have installed CentOS Subpanel on your CentOS machine. So before we get started, install CentOS Subpanel on your machine and then you can install WordPress on CentOS Subpanel. Here, I have already installed CentOS Subpanel. So after installing center of panel, open your browser and then here type the IP address of your server and then type the port number 2030. It is a default port number for center of panel. Now I will log in with my credential. Here I have logged in. Before going to install WordPress, you need to have user account and domain. So you must create user account. Here, this is my user account. And then you need to create domain. Here you can see my domain WordPress. Dot nxf.com so now let's start install wordpress on center of panel now go to terminal now run the following command to download the package for wordpress here you can see now it's downloading wordpress something so after download we need to extract the package by using tar command now extract the package by using tar command tar space hyphen xzf space package name after extracting you can see the directory is created wordpress next we need to copy all these files and directives to your domain's public html directory here in my case i need to copy this directory into slash home slash wp slash public html so now let's copy the files in directories simply type cp space star to copy all the files in directories and then space the path where you want to copy slash home slash wp slash public html this is the username for my domain wordpress.nsf.com so we need to copy the content for the users public html directory now hit enter you need to put hyphen r to copy the directories recursively give y to copy all the content inside the directory Now the files are copied. Let's move to the directory. Here you can see. Next we need to change the ownership for this files in directory to the user WP. So run the following command to change the ownership ch1 space hyphen capital r space username wp dot wp you have to put your username and then the path slash home slash wp now hit enter now let's go ahead and check cd space slash home slash wp slash public html Here you can see now the ownership has been changed. Next, we need to create database for WordPress. Now, log into database. And type your password. Here, run the following command to create database. Here, let's create database called WordPress. Now, let's create a user called WordPress user and then 
set password for the user and then type this command to grant all privileges for the user to WordPress database now type this command to flush privileges and then exit from the database next move to public html entry from here run the following command now type this command this command will copy and rename this file now hit enter next open this wp-config.php file Here we need to mention the database name and database username for WordPress. Now mention it. Database name and database username and then password. Now save and close the file. Next we need to set file permissions for these files. Now type chmod space hyphen capital R space 755 space slash home slash wp slash public html you need to have this file permission for a WordPress website now restart Apache service now open the browser open new tab type the IP address of your server here you can see now we can install WordPress. Now choose your language and then click continue. And set title for your WordPress website. This is the password for a WordPress subset. This is the username. You can change the username and password if you want. And type the email address. If you don't like to index your website for any search engine like Google means you can check here otherwise you can leave it now install WordPress here you can see now WordPress is installed now click login enter the username and the password and then click login and then here you can customize the website customize it and then click save and publish after that you can see your website by using the domain name so that's all about how to install WordPress by using CentOS web panel. Hope this video is helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel Linux Help for further tutorials. Visit www.linuxhelp.com for any queries. Mail us to support at linuxhelp.com.